a short time ago, the first pediatric flu death of the season in the county, just Tarrant County. Health Department says the child involved here did have some underlying medical conditions, and they didn't release any more details. That's all we have at the moment. But there have been two other pediatric flu deaths in the state of Texas so far this season. But again, the first now in Tarrant County. Flu cases do continue to surge all across the state, though, and public health officials are sounding the alarm. If you haven't, get your flu shot. It's not too late. All of this comes, of course, as student cases are on the rise in schools right now. Reporter Nicole Nielsen with what you need to know. We spoke to everyone today from doctors to parents who all say that flu season seems to be hitting harder than usual. I've never seen it like this, and my kids are um, the ones that are in school are five, seven, and eight. So, I mean, we've been around like kids six season for a while, but this is the worst I've ever seen it. That's a parent from Carol ISD who said all three of her students just came back from being out of school for a week due to the flu and that nurses there claim they're sending home dozens of students. We also heard from parents in Grapevine, Grand Prairie and Irving, while doctors say the spread is certainly noticeable. This is definitely more than we've seen, especially the last few years, uh, but also otherwise healthy people are definitely coming down with the flu. Uh, many of them are not requiring hospitalization, but we have seen a few. Today in Navarro County, Frost ISD closed down their campus for the rest of the week due to widespread sickness. They follow a long list of at least eight school districts to close over the past month. And back here in the Metroplex, the University of Texas at Arlington School newspaper is reporting that cases of the flu have tripled since the fall. Coming up at 5 o'clock, more on what health experts say that you should do to avoid the flu. In Arlington, Nicole Nielsen, CBS News, Texas.